guys, welcome back to my Florida backyard. Today we're gonna to have a really unique show for you guys today. Last night, actually my brother and I went to go see how many toads we could catch. We got eight in all of which were the invasive cane toad. Um, there's a couple other names for them. Some people call them the, mar the marine toad, the giant toad, and the bufo toad. But it's we most of you call it the bufo toad, but it's weird because the bufo toad, bufo actually means, in Latin actually means toad. So when you call it the bufo toad, you're calling it the toad toad. Um, but um, they, this is a, you can see he's a bufo toad. You can tell by the, um, they have triangular glands along the side, poison glands, where like, where they secrete poison. And they also have um, these bone-like things that go around the eye and then to their nostril. Um, the reason I'm wearing gloves is because I, just to be safe, I don't like, if he were to secrete poison, I don't want to like get on my hands and wipe, wipe, wipe my face or something. So just, just wearing them to be safe. Um, but the, they eat all types of foods. They eat almost anything they can find. Um, but they, there's a, they want to see something really creepy or I think they're creepy and gross. Um, see, this guy, this guy has one, the tick. This guy has a tick on him. I don't know if you can see that. He looks like he's almost full bone and he's getting probably just a bit more blood from him and then he's gonna be ready to go off and leave him alone. Um, but the, um, the, what the weird thing is, they don't really like to live they don't like to live in natural areas like other frogs do. They like to they like to live where the humans do, like oh, <laughs> like um they like to live where the humans do, like ballparks or neighborhoods or even golf courses. Um, but they they um they can they are the largest toad in the world, and they can grow up to be six inches. This is one of the smaller ones. The, biggest guy we found is this guy. This is the biggest guy we found. Um, um, and they, the toads can kill, they will, if a, your dog or cat gets a hold of them, they, the poison can kill them and probably will kill them if they get it in their mouth. And it, it could, it definitely will kill a dog most likely. Um, but it, if you put a toad in your mouth, for some reason, or, or a bufo toad in your mouth, you probably will get sick or die um, from it. So you just don't put a toad in your mouth. Um, they, um, they, you can recognize them from their warty skin, and you can, from their warty skin, their, um, their chubby body, and their, um, their chubby body, and they. Obviously, you can see they're not very good climbers. They're trying to pile on top of each other to escape. Um, but they are invasive, and their defense is to create poison from their poison gland or to pee. This guy's not doing it, but all that water, all that stuff in there is probably pee from them. And then they also make a croaking sound, like that guy. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's croaking right now. Um, but if you ever find a toad under an inch, leave it alone because it could be a native toad and you can't really tell the difference when they're younger. So leave it alone, let it, let it go. But sadly, we probably will end up putting these guys down because they're invasive, but I won't. My dad will probably do it. And always remember if you ever handle them with or without gloves to put the gloves back to wash your hands because you don't want to get poison on your, don't want to have poison <laughs> on your body and wipe it in your eyes or put it in your mouth. Or and they could be carrying other diseases that we don't know of. So that's it. See you guys next time on My Florida Backyard.